After 68 games, 55 wins, 13 draws, and almost 4 years, Fortress Anfield has finally been stormed. Burnley were the only team to take points off Liverpool at home last season. Ashley Barnes' late spot kick making them the first team since Crystal Palace in April 2017 to take all three points at Anfield. Hey guys, we talk football here and today we explain Liverpool's drastic dip in form. For the first time since Gerard Houllier's Liverpool team failed to score in their final five games of the 1999-2000 campaign, Liverpool have gone four league games without a goal. Let me put things into perspective for you. Liverpool have gone 438 minutes without a league goal and taken three points from a possible 15, going from title favourites to a team who could drop out of the top four before they return to league action. The Reds haven't scored a league goal since they were held to a draw by West Brom at Anfield on December 27th, and their last goal in all competitions came in an unconvincing win against Aston Villa's youth team. Now you couldn't make a case that they are missing arguably the best center back in the world in Virgil van Dijk, but I believe Liverpool losing key defenders hasn't been their biggest problem this season. Their biggest problem has been the knock-on effect those injuries have had elsewhere on the pitch. In recent weeks, captain Jordan Henderson has dropped back into defense to help out, and it has created a vacuum in the middle that no one else seems capable of filling. Joel Matip may have made his return from injury in the Burnley game, but Henderson missed out entirely due to a groin problem and that midfield gap was there for all to see. Thiago Alcantara is a great player, but he isn't quite the driving force in the middle that Henderson was for much of last season when he often played as the furthest forward of the midfield three. And without Jordan Henderson yelling out instructions, the team looks a little lost. Jordan Shakiri is simply not good enough and never will be. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain isn't up to it either. Jeannie Wignaldum offers nothing. Firmino looks like he has no confidence, while Salah and Mane are suffering from a dip in form that was always likely to come at some point. Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, and Roberto Firmino have been directly involved in just one goal across the last five Premier League games. And then there's Trent Alexander-Arnold who has always been a little defensively suspect and now isn't contributing much going forward neither. In the Burnley game, Alexander-Arnold had one successful cross out of 22. Liverpool have issues in every department right now and sorting them out could be the biggest challenge of Klopp's coaching career. One way to sort out the problems would be to take a dive into the January transfer window. It remains to be seen if Jurgen Klopp will but they could really do with another center half to have some stability in the defense. In addition to the front three for Liverpool struggling to find the back of the net, it could be that something is wrong in the chemistry of the front three players together. Since Mane stormed off last year following Salah's failure to play him in, to Firmino ignoring obvious passes in favor of personal glory, and Salah complaining about how he is being treated in the media by Liverpool and hinting his interest at Barca and Real. Once again, this is just speculation. I don't know for a fact what is going on. But whatever it is, it better get solved very quickly, or before they know it, Liverpool could drop out of the top four. Some of the blame has to be put on Jurgen Klopp as well. Why did he decide to bench Salah and Firmino, knowing beforehand that defeat would leave them 6 points adrift of league leaders Manchester United and potentially 9 points behind Manchester City in the grand scheme of things? Yes, they got Man United to come in the FA Cup on the weekend, but shouldn't retaining the title not be the defending champion's main priority? Instead, Klopp chose to give Divock Origi a rare start. It shows Klopp underestimated Burnley and he paid a heavy price. One thing to note from the recent team selections for Liverpool is that due to their injury problems, they are a substantially smaller, weaker side than last season. With each passing week, it looks like the chances to retain the title get slimmer and slimmer. But let us know what you guys think. Will Liverpool turn it around and retain the Premier League title for a second successive year? Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you guys on the next one.